Cage Fighter War Machine is currently uh, facing a trial for beating up his ex-girlfriend, Christy Mack. Now, he beat her up so extremely that the picture we're about to show you is very graphic, but there's a reason why we're going to show it to you. His defense for why he felt the need to consistently and constantly rape her is ridiculous. And then he, uh, it got to a point where he beat her up and she looked like this. It is a graphic photo, but I want to show you. Um, so there's Christy Mack. She was a former porn star, and she was in a relationship uh, with Jonathan Copenhaver, who was referred to as the war machine. Now, currently, he's facing 34 charges um, in criminal charges, uh, ranging from sexual assault to attempted murder. Okay. Now, during the trial, uh, he and his lawyer had a very fascinating defense as to why Christy Mack was sexually assaulted and raped repeatedly uh, by the defendant. In court on Monday, defense attorney Brandon uh, Sua said that Mackendays, that's uh, Christy Mack's real last name, career in adult films constitu constituted consent and that her job instilled in her, quote, the desire, the preference, the acceptability toward a particular form of sex activities that were outside the norm. Okay. So let, let me read to you what this guy did to Christy Mack, her injuries, and see if you think she because of her adult film critic, I'm sorry, career, wanted this to happen to her. A blowout fracture of her left eye, several broken bones in her face, two missing teeth, a lacerated liver, broken ribs, a serious bruising in several places. So I'm pretty sure that a career in adult films does not lead you to want to desire two missing teeth, a lacerated river, I'm sorry, liver and uh, several uh, broken bones in your face. I don't think that has anything to do with adult movies. So uh, this is one of the most outrageous defense claims I've heard in a long time. I mean, this goes right up there with affluenza. Uh, rich people should be allowed to get away with crimes because they don't know their consequences of their actions. Uh, this is, well, if it's an adult film star, I should be allowed to rape her and break her face uh, because she has sex outside the norm anyway. It's incredible. It's incredible that this was uttered in a courtroom setting as a defense. I can't I really can't believe it, but honestly, you should be able to believe anything that comes from this guy because during the court proceedings, he apparently blew a kiss to the chief deputy district attorney Jacqueline Bluth. He blew a kiss to her. And she had to stop what was happening and let the judge know so the judge could basically reprimand him and tell him, "Hey, you know what? Maybe you should stop blowing kisses." to uh, the women in the courtroom right now. In a okay. rape trial, you might not want to blow kisses to the prosecutor. And that might be a bad idea. But it's there's some chance this guy doesn't understand uh, the good distinction between bad ideas and and, and good ideas. So uh, lastly, it's, I'm really stuck on this, that her career in adult films constituted consent. <laughs> that idea is so preposterous. That means that anyone can go rape anyone that they've seen in an adult movie because their career constituted consent in a blanket sense. Yeah, let's Not only can you rape them, but apparently you could break bones in their face. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and change the language to what they're both actually thinking. And I'm talking about uh, you know Jonathan War Machine, whatever the hell his name is, and his uh, defense attorney. Um, what they're saying in plain language is, we think she's a whore, and since she's a whore, she deserves to get you know have she deserves to have someone abuse her in any way that they seem fit see fit that's exactly what he's saying they're saying she she had it coming she asked for it by being a slut that's that this is the sophisticated pseudo intellectual uh description of exactly that